and welcome to this week's episode of Coffee with a Career Coach Intern Edition. I am joined by Simone, who I will let introduce herself in just a moment, but very excited to have her on with us today. My name is Erica O'Toole, and I am the Associate Director in the Career Development Center, um, and I am very excited to be with you. And as always, we always talk about what kind of coffee we're drinking with this series, and Mine is Big B with Caramel Marble and White Lightning, and luckily my husband brought it to me today at work, so shout out to him for that. Um, so anyway, Simone is here to talk about her internship, and I'm going to pass it over to her to introduce herself and what she's been up to. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Simone Patrick. I'm going to be an upcoming senior this year at CMU. I'm studying international business and information systems towards cybersecurity, and I'm having a minor in German. I'm working for PwC as a risk and reg intern in data and tech with an SAP concentration. There's a lot more, I guess, logistics behind it. But that's pretty much the easier version of it. And yeah, that's kind of just about me. Awesome. That's a long title, so I'm glad you introduced it. <laughs> well, Simone, it's really great to have you. Um, as we kind of talk about internships through the summer with our different guests, I really want to showcase to the students out there what exactly the process looks like. So, you know, whether you were in person or virtual for your interview, um, how long your search was, how many places you applied for, just so the students out there can really gain an understanding of what that whole process looks like. And for anyone watching, feel free to ask questions as we go too. I can pop those up on the screen for Simone. Sure thing. So my internship process probably started like two years ago when I was a sophomore trying to look for a job. So I found a job for at and and I applied to a lot, probably like 80 companies because I just wanted an internship right away. And I probably started later in the game, usually in February, but most people apply in September, so it was a little bit later, but I was lucky to get an internship. So when I was looking for internships this year, I already had one underneath my belt, so I was a little bit easier to go with, but I still kind of struggled finding internships. So again, I applied to maybe 80 plus internships, which is kind of a lot. Not a lot of people apply to that many, but I was looking through different channels like Handshake through CMU. LinkedIn was actually quite helpful. There were a couple other job sites, but what I found quite interesting is I would look up different like companies online or see um, on LinkedIn, like who already had like jobs. And I'd go to like their company websites and just find like the different types of jobs they had. So I would apply to like Nike, Geico, obviously apply to PwC or Pepsi. So I applied to like these big name companies just to like see like if they had anything going out. And I even applied to Apple because I heard they had some cool uh, intern stuff. So I was like, maybe I'll go there, but got rejected from them. But as far as like my interview process, so I applied to PwC, I believe in September. I know they have an early closing date. Um, but once I applied, it took a couple months for me to get a response and I actually didn't get my first internship. So I applied for the cybersecurity role and I did not get it, which I was kind of upset about. Um, but I contacted the lead recruiter for like the Michigan area, which goes like to our school. And I sent her a quick message like, hey, I was wondering if there are any opportunities that I could apply for because like I really wanted a job with PwC because they're a pretty good company and she then reached back out to me and she said there were other openings and apply for the risk and reg department and mind you I had no idea what risk and reg was at the moment really confused and I was like how does this fit into like cybersecurity or anything in my majors because I'm not accounting and PwC is a big accounting firm so I applied to that one and within a week I heard back I had an interview lined up actually I had two and I was quite nervous for them because they were both on a Friday, both an hour long. I had an on-the-spot case interview. You never had those before. It's where they just give you information. You have to answer questions, like at the top of your head with like your classroom knowledge and like what you've learned. And I had mine based off like ERP and SAP. And I was just like got out of those classes. So I was like kind of fresh in the information, but I had to like refresh myself in that. And then the second one was a behavioral interview, which is kind of like your basic, like who are you? How would you deal in like team situations and stuff like that? And I've already done a lot of those before, so I was kind of better off on that end than the case interview. So I was definitely stressed out like that entire Friday when I had the interviews. And then I believe it was the next Monday, I got a phone call like at 8 a.m. Don't know why I was at 8 a.m., but I got a phone call. They offered me the job for risk and reg data and tech intern. And I was like, still don't know what that meant, but I was like, yeah, like I'll take it. 
Um, but yeah, it was pretty cool. And then part of like the interview process and the online application, you could put in different locations that you wanted to go to. Um, so I chose Chicago. So like I work out of Chicago office now, but yeah, I probably signed and did everything in November and I was probably one of like the last people to sign their internship acceptance. Cause I know a lot of people in PwC, like they signed a year before. So I was like one of the last people. So it's kind of a little nerve wracking, but I'm definitely excited and glad I went down that route. But as for the other 80, 79 internships that I applied to, I know like one week I probably got rejected from 15 and it was quite sad that week. I was very definitely down, but then like the next week I got a, an interview. So, I mean, it definitely goes like it fluctuates and it depends like what you have, your skill sets and some stuff I didn't qualify for because I wasn't that high in my skills, but some stuff I was overqualified for. So it was just kind of like finding like a mix and a match. But like, I do recommend like reaching out to recruiters because I mean, I got rejected and I still got a job. So I think that's kind of a cool way to go about it. But yeah, that's kind of like my interview process and how I got the job basically at PwC. That's awesome. And I'm really glad that you talked about the idea of how many you applied for getting rejected, but being persistent, because I think that's what a lot of times many people don't understand is there's going to be a lot you get rejected for. I've been rejected for jobs. Everybody's been rejected. The, the key to it all is really being persistent, keep on applying and remaining positive through the process because it is going to happen. So yeah. Simone, awesome that you are able to tell us that because I think that's just a great example right there. And you still got an internship that you really liked. So that's awesome. Yeah. So, so could you tell us a little bit about what the day-to-day -day duties of your internship are? Sure. So right now I'm not working because I have off for the week, but Usually I wake up, well, I have meetings set out basically every hour or somewhat of the day. So I usually wake up, first thing I have is a meeting at 7.45, which is awesome. And then I just kind of keep on going throughout the day with meetings. And then usually I get a task assigned like midway through the day or early in the morning. And then while I'm still in like those meetings and different stuff for the company, because it's a consulting, so we work with different clients. So we usually have client meetings and team meetings, another client meeting and another team meeting. Um, but usually by like 2 p.m. I'm done with meetings. So then I just complete like the tasks that I was assigned and then I'll send it to go get reviewed. But usually every day it's like kind of like a new task right now because my current like my position doesn't have like a solid task, I guess, for the rest of the summer. But it's going to happen next week. So I'm kind of excited for that. But so far I've been just doing tasks and then handing it off. So it's kind of fun because... I've been seeing like different aspects of it. So like I work in SAP and I've had like classroom knowledge. I've done, I don't know what it's called now, but it was BUS 301 and you learn SAP and it's kind of cool to see from like that side. So I go on to different T codes and tables and SAP and I pull different data out, which I didn't really do before, but I went like on like the visual side of it. So I get to see different aspects of SAP every day in like different areas, which is kind of cool, which I didn't think I was going to, but yeah, so I kind of do something different each day right now, but next week it'll probably be more fluid. But I usually do a lot of team meetings and a lot of client meetings. And it's kind of cool to like meet a lot of different people. I know some people on my team are from India, so I kind of go, it's a 10, 11 hour difference, I think. So that's why I have that 745 meeting because I have to meet with them. But yeah, so it's kind of cool getting like the gist of like how people work internationally in the U.S. and different time zones. So definitely pretty cool. That's awesome. It sounds like you're gaining a lot of great experience to be able to bring back and, you know, apply to your future career as well. So that's great. Um, and kind of the reverse side of that, how do you feel like you've applied aspects of your major, but also just your CMU journey in general to this internship? Sure. So I am a cybersecurity like concentration in um, IS which is not really SAP if anyone's done that before. It's more of like technical side, I guess, of IS. But um, I've taken an SAP class. I actually worked in a SAP lab on campus. So I have like some knowledge of SAP, which is, it's better than nothing, I would say. So when I went to, um, looked and I was in an SAP concentration, I was kind of nervous. I was like, I don't really know what to do about that. But I mean, I definitely like it now because, again, I see different aspects of it. Like, I in classes, you learn, like, 
how to get into the system, how to plug in numbers and stuff like that. And at this job, it's like, you have the numbers, like, what do they mean? So you have to like, kind of like use what you learn, but also like learn more things that I think is kind of cool. Cause I didn't know what the numbers mean before. I would just look at it and play like the ERP sim game and be like, Oh yeah, I have like 30 water bottles sold. But like now I'm like, what do those 30 water bottles sold mean? For, like a company. So it's kind of like a different aspect, but the same aspect I would say. But I'm not really using my cybersecurity side, but hopefully in the near future I can put that into play. But as far as like international yeah. business goes, I've learned to like work with different cultures and different projects and stuff like that. So definitely working with our international clients and then people on our team that are maybe abroad. So it's definitely cool to like play into that side a little bit because I'm I'm kind of both. So I learn like different aspects of people from abroad and then in the U.S. And it's kind of cool to like put those all together within SAP, which I never thought I would ever do. So kind of cool. Yeah. And I know you're a member as well of like AK Psi, Alpha Kappa Psi business yeah. fraternity. Um, do you feel like any of those outside involvements are also helping you in this internship? Yeah, AK Psi definitely helped me with the large majority of getting my internship. They definitely prepared me a lot in interview questions. And when, like, even the day of, like, when I was going to go interview for them, like, I was volunteering, actually, with a lot of my brothers from AK Psi. And they were all, like, hyping me up, trying to get me in better spirits for my interview. But, yeah, they definitely helped me a lot. I attribute a lot of my success to them because they always push me. It's, like, a different feel than classroom like learning like you learn how to write a resume in classes and you learn how to do interview questions but you don't like really practice it on a daily and I know like with anyone that I call up like they'd be down to practice interview questions or just rate my resume and stuff like that so it was definitely helpful and then even before I applied to PwC there were a lot of um, like alumni or current members that already had jobs with them so I reached out to them, like asked them about the interview process, see if they had an on-the-spot case interview. They did not, so I was a little more stressed about that. But it was definitely fun to like reach out and get to know more people outside of like what the current chapter is right now. So definitely recommend. It's a lot of fun and definitely learn a lot from it too. That's awesome. We always encourage students to definitely get involved in things either on campus or within the community because not only is that a great resume builder, but it also helps you in preparing for different things like an internship and a career. So I'm glad that you spoke to that as well. Um, so in terms of your internship itself, how do you feel like this is really preparing you for your future career? So one of the biggest things that I, I guess you don't learn in school, I mean, you do, but it's like how to work in a team. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, like, team projects are a lot of fun but you always feel like one person's pulling a little more weight or some person's like not pulling enough weight but when you're in like a business environment like everyone has to pull like the same amount of weight and like if you're following behind like you want to speak up so like communication and teamwork are pretty key and I didn't really understand that until I went to PwC and I was in a team and I'm the only intern in my team so it's kind of nerve-wracking and everyone else is a lot higher than I am so it's kind of cool like being like the lower person, but also like making sure that my voice is heard. Like if I have any questions or I don't know an abbreviation of something, I definitely speak up and ask. So definitely working in a team is probably one of the most important things I've learned because you all either fail or you either succeed. So you might as well want to succeed and try and do your best. Awesome. Definitely. I mean, the team building skills are something you can take from job to job. It's a great transferable skill that you can have on your resume. So glad to hear that that's going so well for you. Um, as we kind of end this Facebook Live, I'm so, first of all, so grateful that you came on to join us because I think that your story really told us a lot about being persistent, um, trying something new, stepping out of your comfort zone. And so I love this series because we get to hear from each intern about really how this process is affecting them and, and how they're approaching it, which I think is pretty awesome. So Simone, as we wrap up here, do you have a piece of advice that you would give to students, maybe about internships or involvements at CMU, anything that you'd like to tell them? Um, like the one piece of advice is probably you wouldn't know unless you try. Like I wouldn't have known to like get an internship unless I kept on trying and being persistent. It's probably like a hard thing to do but if you do like maybe like five or ten things a day or even a week like 
it definitely makes up for something then. So just keep on trying. It'll always happen. It'll come, it'll come. But if you definitely get rejected, don't worry. Something will be better along the way. So, yeah. Awesome. And it's great that you're remaining so positive through the process as well. Um, Because that's another huge (laughs) aspect, right? You can't get negative when you get a rejection because that's just how it works. So, um, again, Simone, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate you joining me. And I think this was a really great conversation for other students to, to really hear about that process of finding an internship. So thank you. Thank you so much as well. Appreciate it. All right. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful day. We are con- continuing this series. So we will be back next week with another intern. And I look forward to seeing you and interviewing them as well. So thank you. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend.